dito is, you know, um, magpo-post ako ng mga questions at itatry ko siyang answeran in a very, very simple way. May isa akong estudyante noon na nagsabi, um, madidetermine daw natin yung gender through physical appearance. And ang sabi ko naman, yeah, you have a point there, pero may kulang. Kasi, take for example, um, kung babae and balbon siya, by nature, di, may bigote siya. So, instant lalaki na siya kasi physical appearance, may bigote siya. Hindi, di ba? So, ano yung sagot? Well, yung answer is, it has something to do with the chromosomes. Ang mga lalaki, they have the X and Y chromosomes. At ang mga babae naman, they have the X and X chromosomes. Ayun. Ngayon, may isa akong estudyante nagtanong, um, what about transgenders na nagpapasex change? Ano na ngayon ang chromosomes na nasa kanila? What do you think? Ang sagot ko is, the alteration that happened nung nagpasex change yung tao is only a physical change. Pero yung chromosomes na nasa kanya, yung genes na nasa kanya ay pareho pa rin. So, physically, um, kasi nga na-alter yung physical appearance, pwedeng babae yung hitsura niya, babaeng babae, even the boys and so on. Pero yung chromosomes niya, X and Y pa rin. And kung babae naman, na, na pa-sex change at mukhang lalaki na siya, still, the chromosomes would be X and X. Wala pa tayong technology na pwedeng i-alter yon <laughs> Okay? Kasi diba, um, usually mga married couple, yung husband, gusto nila magkaroon sila ng anak na lalaki. Para, kung, kung baga, hindi maputol yung apelido nila, may pagpatuloy yung lahi nila. So, so something like that. And so, ngayon, ano yung chance na magkakanak sila ng lalaki? Familiar kayo sa Planet Square, di ba? Let's do the Planet Square. Kaya kanina yung unang question ko is about XY and XX chromosomes. Kasi, uh, sorry, nabubulo na ako. <laughs> Kasi ito yung gagamitin natin sa Planet Square. Ayan! O diba? The chance is always 50%. So kung gusto mo mag-anak ng lalaki, gusto mo mag-anak ng babae, 50-50 yung chance. Well, it's the father that determines the sex of the child. Bakit yung lalaki? Kasi sila yung may Y chromosomes. So, sila yung magko-contribute ng Y chromosomes para maging lalaki yung anak nila. At kung walang Y chromosomes, babae yun. Diba? Kaya, um, may mga cases wherein the, the woman is being blamed ng, ng husband nila kasi hindi sila nagkakanak ng lalaki. Mali yun, ha? Ang dapat nang sisihin yung lalaki kasi nasa kanila yung Y chromosomes. So, they are the ones who determines the sex of the child. Um, simple and simple yung definition nito. Bakit siya tinatawag na sex link? Because it is linked or associated to the X and Y chromosomes or to the gender. Ang pinaka-simple definition nito ay yung traits or characteristics na naka-attach or nakakabit sa X or Y chromosomes. As simple as that. And ano yung mga examples ng sex link trait? One is color blindness. Um, color blindness in determining the red and green color. Na if you have this particular trait, ang pagtingin mo sa red ay green at yung green ay red. So that's what we mean by color blindness as a sex link trait. And color blindness is actually an X linked trait. So sa X chromosome siya nakakabi. Another is hemophilia. So, hemophilia is an abnormality of the blood to clot. Uh, kaya nga, um, yung may mga taong may hemophilia, kapag nasugatan sila, uh, talagang nagbibleeding sila. So, it's difficult for their blood to clot. And this is also an X-linked trait. Ayun. Another thing is baldness, yung na, na angas or nakakalbo. This is a Y-linked trait. Kaya nga, sabi ko sa mga estudyante ko, if your father, um, as they get older, medyo na, napapanot na o nakakalbo, 100% sure na ganyan din kayo pagtanda nyo. Why? Because it's a wilding trait. So, as a male, 
na manam mo man mamamana mo yon sorry mamamana mo yon sa father mo kasi sino yung magbibigay sa ng Y chromosome yung father mo and that Y chromosome has the baldness trait ayon kaya ngayon mo siya tiko ay talaga yes talaga totoo yun hindi walang bola <laughs> ayon and the fourth one um, ano um, sex link trait is muscular dystrophy weakening of the muscles ayon and it's actually an X link trait as well So from the term itself, ko, meaning together, right? And dominance, it's related to dominant traits. So one very good example of ko dominance is the blood type, wherein you have the AB blood type, right? So ko dominance is a situation wherein two dominant traits, once they are together, both will manifest as a phenotype or both will be seen as a phenotype. Na, kumbaga, walang, wala ni isa sa kanila yung gusto mag-give up o maging recessive trait. Kaya, we have the AB blood type. Kasi A, blood type, and the B blood type are both dominant traits. So, pag nagsama sila, yun, nag-aaway sila. Ay, hindi naman. Um, walang gusto mag-give up sa kanila. Kaya, naging AB blood type. Wherein, both dominant traits manifest as a phenotype. sinabi natin multiple alleles from the term itself multiple meaning many and allele I, I think you know this term these are the DNA the genes so you have many genes or many alleles and one very good example is the blood type so, so our blood type contains a lot of alleles so you have the AB blood type the A the B and the O O is actually the recessive trait a and B are dominant traits. And AB, that's actually the co-dominance <laughs> situation. Okay? So, epistasis is actually um, a situation wherein one gene is being masked by another gene to express its particular trait as a phenotype. Na, kumbaga, um, may isang trait or isang gene na pinipigilan siyang ma-express pinipigilan siyang lumabas at makita sa physical appearance ng tao. Na take for example, widow's peak. Alam niyo yung widow's peak, yung ako hindi, straight hairline ako. Um, na parang yung tinatawag nating heart shape na mukha, na parang may may letter V na paganyan. So that's widow's peak na uh, ang sabi nila parang ang nakakapaganda yun sa sa mukha ng tao. So ako pala, straight hairline. Wala. <laughs> bawas ang aking kagandahan ganon <laughs> so, um, ang ano dito is for example meron kang ganong trait but then it's being masked by another chin baldness chin for example so, we will never know that that particular person ay may widow's peak trait kasi nga kalbo siya so paano naman natin malalaman na meron siyang widow's peak diba? so that's what we mean by epistasis so, one gene is masking another gene to be expressed as a phenotype. Okay? What do we mean by this? Um, a particular trait has a wide range of variety. Now, for example, pag sinabi natin skin color, hindi lang naman white and black yung skin color, di ba? So, meron siyang parang if you will draw a curve, so, meron siyang very white na parang powder yung, uh, or parang arena kaputi. Tapos, as you go higher, di ba, nagiging fair complexion, morena, gaya natin mga Pinoy. Tapos, dark to dark, hanggang sa super dark, as in talagang super black. Black as night. <laughs> so, ganon. That's what we mean by polygenic inheritance. Ganon din sa height. Di ba? So, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na mababa, matangkad. Kasi merong range yan. Na pag sinabi natin matangkad, ilan ba? May measurement, 6. 6 feet tall, 6 two. Kapag mababa naman, ano ba yun? Um, 5 feet tall, or yung mga uh, midgets and, and all, may range siya, di ba? So that's what we mean by polygenic inheritance. Um, a single trait or characteristic would have a lot of consequences or effects on an individual. For example, yung sickle cell anemia. So kung may sickle cell anemia ka, maraming kumbaga consequences or effects na pwedeng um, maramdaman mo as a person. So aside from being anemic, if you have sickle cell anemia, um, later on, 
it can lead to breakdown of your organs, it can lead to um, being comatose, and then death. So, marami pa. Maraming complications later on. Nakapag napabayaan tong sakit na to. So, that's what we mean by platropy. A single chain could have a lot of effects or consequences to an organism. Music